In the mid-1930s, the city of Cleveland, Ohio, was plagued by a series of brutal murders that shocked the nation. Dubbed the Cleveland Torso Murders, this string of killings remains one of the most perplexing and haunting unsolved cases in American history. Spanning from 1934 to 1938, the murders involved a total of 13 victims, all of whom were dismembered, decapitated, and left in various locations around the city. The first victim, whose remains were discovered in Kingsbury Run, a shanty town on the outskirts of Cleveland, was not identified. The body was found in multiple pieces, making it challenging for investigators to piece together what had happened. As more bodies began to surface, the gruesome nature of the killings became apparent, leading to widespread panic and fear in the community. The killer targeted individuals from vulnerable populations, including drifters, prostitutes, and the homeless. This choice of victims made it easier for the murderer to go unnoticed, as these individuals were often overlooked or disregarded by society. The brutality of the killings suggested a sadistic nature, with signs of torture and sexual mutilation present in many of the victims. Due to the dismemberment and decapitation of the victims, the murders quickly gained notoriety, earning the moniker Torso Murders. It seemed apparent that the killer possessed a certain level of medical knowledge, as such precise dismemberment would require both anatomical understanding and skill. Despite this theory, however, no medical professional was ever identified as a suspect. The investigation into the Cleveland Torso murders was led by Elliot Ness, the famous law enforcement agent known for his pursuit of Al Capone during Prohibition. Ness established a special task force dedicated to capturing the killer, but despite their efforts, the case remained unsolved. The task force faced numerous challenges, including a lack of forensic technology and the killer's ability to evade capture. As the body count rose, so did public fear and speculation. The citizens of Cleveland lived in a state of constant unease, unsure of when or where the torso killer would strike next. The police received countless tips and leads, but none were substantial enough to lead to the killer's identification. This lack of progress only fueled the mystery surrounding the case. In 1938, the dismembered body of Florence Palillo was found, marking the last known victim of the Cleveland Torso murders. With no further killings occurring after her death, many speculate that the killer either died, was imprisoned for an unrelated crime, or moved to another location. Regardless of what happened to the perpetrator, they took their secrets to the grave, leaving behind only questions and unsolved mysteries. To this day, the identity of the Cleveland Torso Killer remains unknown. Countless theories and suspects have been proposed over the years, ranging from a doctor with a penchant for experimentation to a rogue member of law enforcement. Despite the efforts of numerous investigators and the passage of time, the case remains cold, leaving those involved and the city of Cleveland forever haunted by the unsolved crimes that gripped the city all those years ago.